utensils, utensils, utensils. We can't get enough of them. Actually, we have way too many of them and also need to clean up this part of the kitchen. Whoops. Let me know if anyone wants anything from this video. Here are our top 10 most useful utensils in the kitchen. Starting off the list at number 10 is vegetable brushes. I love these vegetable brushes because they are just so cute. The carrot one I really only use for scrubbing potatoes, carrots, turnips, and other root vegetables. This one is for mushrooms. I've heard it both ways that mushrooms should be washed like any other vegetable and that mushrooms should never be washed but rather brushed. So I guess it's up to you. Number nine is the bench scraper. This metal bench scraper I got from Joanna is super awesome for bread making and working with other types of dough as well. The measurements on the side help for rough portioning and sizing. Should this technically be categorized as a tool rather than a utensil? Probably. Number eight is the rice paddle. In addition to scooping out rice, I actually use this plastic paddle for making cookies sometimes too. It's tougher plastic than a rubber spatula and has more flat surface area than a wooden spoon. With a shorter handle, it gives you more control. So when I'm working with thick cookie doughs, I like to use this to fold. Number seven is the metal spatula. I pretty much exclusively use the metal spatula for the wok as I want to protect the integrity of my other pans. Mine has holes, but for the wok, you should be using the one that doesn't because it helps capture the food and the sauce. The fish spatula is also highly appreciated by many. It has a very sharp and thin edge. The long and angled shape is designed to help flip fillets without breaking them. Number six is the whisk. For me, I enjoy using the whisk attachment for the hand mixer because the spacing between each piece of metal ensures that air is being funneled into what you're whisking. I have a couple other whisks that also do the job, but you can see that they're a bit thicker. So honestly, if I had to get rid of them, I'd probably be fine replacing them with a mini whisk or one like the attachment, but with a better handle. Number five is the rubber spatula slash spoonula. Having a sturdy rubber spatula is the way to go with baking and cooking. It's the best way to make sure you don't waste any product. The mini one is actually useful at getting into cramped spaces, so I recommend having a large one and a small one. Many attest to the spoonula being the perfect creation. Although I do enjoy using it, I honestly still reach for the regular spatula first. Sorry, Arjun. Number four is tongs. Metal tongs. I like these kinds that have a silicon on the grip and the cinch to help them stay closed. I also appreciate having two different sizes. But if I had to choose, I'd probably keep the long ones because although the small give me better control, the long ones are good at protecting you from a distance for things like grilling and also reaching into the oven. Number three is the slotted bamboo spatula. So I have two sets of these bamboo cooking tools and honestly, my favorite is this shape. I use it the most, as you can probably tell. The edge makes it easy to get into the corners of the pot. And while sauteing, the vegetables or sauce can slide right through the hole. Not sure if that actually does anything, but I'd like to think that it does. Number two is the wooden spoon. So humble. A nice round wooden spoon is the way to go for sauteing in a pot. There's also something so pleasant about making sauce in a pot with a wooden spoon. I like this small size. It's really comfortable and big enough to turn most bits in the pot, but you can also opt for getting a slightly bigger one. And finally at the top of the list is wooden chopsticks. We use these for everything checking oil temperature, flipping pieces of meat on a pan, stir frying, whisking eggs, cooking eggs, picking up bits that fall onto the stove grate, removing toast from the toaster, and of course, eating. I cannot imagine cooking without wooden chopsticks. They're just great for everything, and I think everyone should have at least one pair in their household. And there you have it, the top 10 most useful utensils for our tiny kitchen. 
An honorable mention definitely goes to Ladle, which probably should have taken the spot of one of these, but I totally forgot until later when I was looking at all my utensils again. Do you have any go-to utensils? Are you all about that spoonula? Comment below. Let us know.